In this video, I want to show you guys how to turn your photos into cartoon or anime style. Here is an example. To the left, I have me, just, you know, normal me. To the right, I have anime me. <laughs> so I used a free AI tool to do this. It's completely free plus stupidly simple and easy to do. I have been itching to show you guys this. This is actually really cool. Okay. So there is this AI called Focus. It's completely free and open source. And I also made a video in this about a month ago. And it is stupidly simple to use. Plus it has some tools to edit your images too. Like image expansion, background removal, face swap, you can change clothes and everything. This is really cool AI. I'll put a link in the description for that video. You can go there and learn more about this tool. And it's, uh, you know, image editing plus image generation features. Uh, in this video, I just want to show you guys how to turn your photos into cartoon. This uses a Stable Diffusion, name of this tool is Focus because it only focuses on prompts. So if you have ever used a Stable Diffusion with like uh, Automatic 1111 or Comfy UI, you know, it's kind of difficult to use. I mean, if you want to get really good results, you have to master those tools. But with the Focus, no, you don't have to master anything. You can put really simple prompts and it will generate really good images. This tool is to make stable diffusion easy. Okay. And this thing is actually insane. So go to this official GitHub page from here. If you want to learn more about this, you can learn. It is actually comparing itself to the mid journey. Yeah, it is actually the best and free, like 100% free mid journey alternative. As of making this video, this is only available in Windows, but you can also use this on any operating system using Google Collab. So if you want to use this locally, you go to the download section and, and click on this click here to download option and it will download a 1.8 gigabytes of file. Just unzip it. After unzipping it, you'll have all these options, run bad, realistic, and anime to turn photos into like cartoon or anime style we actually need to run the anime bat file here so it will download the anime model and everything and then you know you can turn your photos into cartoon so that's how you can run this locally okay uh, but if you don't have a powerful pc or you just don't want to run it locally you can use this in google collab just go to collab section and click on open in collab once you open in collab it will look something like this here you just simply need to click on this play icon but before we do that since we want to turn our photo into cartoon or anime we need a anime preset it actually comes with three different presets realistic just normal one and the anime one as long as you have the models downloaded it doesn't actually matter which uh, preset you run you can change the models within the uh, interface but to download the models you actually need to run all the presets because then it will download different models for different things okay so in google collab to run or get the anime preset we actually need to add this line at the end of the code okay so this is anime preset and it will download the anime models and everything okay and if you want to also download the realistic models or realistic preset you add that here since we just want to turn our photos into cartoon we just need this so now we're gonna run it and now it will begin downloading all the required files models and everything okay so we'll have to wait for it and don't worry it will actually not use your internet plus uh, your uh, cpu and gpu okay it's actually the google collab if you don't know what google collab is you can always do the google search i'm pretty sure almost all of you guys already know about this actually this is the only ai image generator plus editor that i use right now so i have this thing already set up so here i'm just gonna run the anime.bat file okay so now if you're using this for the first time it will download uh, all the required files and everything and then it will open a web page which looks something like this. This is the interface for Focus AI. Yeah, here you can do image generation, edit your photos. It's really cool. So that's how you run it locally if you're into that. So now 
just for this demo, I'm just going to use the Google Collab one. So we're going to let this thing finish downloading all the things. Okay. So we just wait. Once everything is downloaded, it will say app started successfully. And now we need to open one of these URLs. Okay. If one doesn't work, don't worry, just open the other one. And here we'll see the interface of uh, the focus AI, just like we saw in when we ran it uh, locally. Okay. Now we need to click on these options, input image and advance, and it will give you more options. Okay. First, we need to check whether we have downloaded the anime style model or not by going into the model tab, but it looks like it didn't. And now we just want to run the anime style one. Okay. We're going to delete the first code and just leave the Python entry with uh, anime preset one. Okay. Now, first, if I can stop it. Okay. Okay. Now it is stopped. Anime preset is here. So we're going to run that. So it will download the anime preset. Yeah. This time it's working because I can actually see the anime model, anime pencil, uh, Excel. You can also download this manually uh, from the Civit AI. Uh, if you're into like image generation and stable diffusion, then it shouldn't be like big deal for you. And now again, we see app started successfully. And this time we can see this is the anime preset actually. <laughs> okay, now we open it. Okay, this URL is not working. So we're going to use the second one. Okay, and we can actually see at the top, it says anime, which means it actually loaded the anime preset. Now we need to turn on the input image and advanced option which will actually open more settings. We can go into models and here we can see anime preset and also juggernaut Excel. We can switch in between them to turn our photos into anime or cartoon. We actually need the anime pencil Excel uh, model. Okay. Once we check that everything is fine. Now you can start generating your images in anime style or whatever or you can turn yourself into cartoon. Let's take one picture, uh, like for this example. Okay, just drag and drop your picture under input image and upscale or variation, and then select the second option in upscale or variation. Don't go with the strong, just go with the subtle. Okay, if you go with strong, it's going to drastically change the image and it will not look like you. If you want to put anything here, any prompt you can put, but uh, just for the test first let's go without any prompt click on generate and if you're using this locally don't worry about any differences this works the same way online we need to use the google collab locally you know it just runs locally and locally it's much easier actually online is also easier once you like understand how to use this in google collab and how to use the presets and everything so you can see this picture actually looks really close to my picture so you can see there is two variation one actually looks like a lady and second one actually looks like a man but what i'm gonna do here is actually put a prompt okay this time i'm gonna put just man and i'm gonna click on generate and let's see how it does it sometime you need to feed this ai some details like maybe mustache or everything anything you put here will be used. Let's say my mustache isn't coming no matter what prompt I use here. So I have to be specific. And uh, there is this thing called style. We can turn them off or on. And there are presets in styles. Now this time we can see it looks more like me or at least looks more like this picture, even though it doesn't have that thick mustache. But you can see it, it is really close. But I think the second one is getting even thicker mustache. <laughs> you can also change the expressions by giving a prompt like smile, sad, something like that if you want. Hey, my mustache isn't that thick actually, to be honest. <laughs> you can see my clothes and everything is like same. We can specify everything here. Okay, everything. You can see this looks more like me now. <laughs> so let's push, put the mustache. Wow, it's going to put a big mustache in my face. So I don't recommend that because I, I the, my mustache isn't that thick. So it's actually best to run this couple of times. Uh, I think in two or three runs, 
it will actually get the image really close to the original image. Look at that. I don't think I have this thick mustache. <laughs> now it's focusing on the mustache only. No. Now let's talk about the style. If I turn off one of these styles or completely turn off, it will actually affect the image. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a man and I'm going to turn off the uh, focus masterpiece. Okay. I'm going to keep the focus V2 and focus negative here. And let's see how the image generates now. It, it will look completely different. See, now it's taking the mustache my real mustache just i just needed to turn off the focus masterpiece i can already see this image is going to look really good i think the smile is not here in my original image the smile looks fake but it's not fake it's the like i don't know uh, i captured that in wrong moment now let's try something else if i uh click on focus enhance now it's gonna change the picture even like more okay I'm going to do that. There are so many presets actually. I can go like all day here explaining each and everything or giving you guys a demo of each preset, uh, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. So now we have focus and hands. Now it's going to look different and it is actually trying to keep my smile here. So these styles actually make huge difference. So first picture is here. I'm just going to look at the first picture only. And you can see, wow, this looks amazing, artistic. Now, if I go with the focus, sharp, and photograph, even masterpiece, focus cinematic, I'm gonna turn on all the focus settings here, okay? I am actually having fun showing you guys this. This is really good uh, image editor, actually. You know, I have seen many advertisement on social media uh, showing these kind of AI tools or at least these kind of photo editing using AI and they don't do this well trust me they don't I'm gonna turn off all these uh, and I'm just gonna go with the enemy let's do that just one uh, style we're gonna choose only one style we can mix you know different styles too but let's try enemy only okay and uh, let's see how the results comes out yeah this <laughs> the smile this is like total enemy okay but to improve this we can actually turn on the focus v2 and focus negative you know you should actually always use these two with other presets focus v2 and focus negative if you use this the image will look better okay so let's try this one more time depending on how you want your image to look or the style you should play with the all the focus related uh, styles here you know each setting does different thing and improves the uh, image quality you should always use focus v2 and focus negative with other presets because it actually makes the image look better almost done here this actually looks really close just with the focus v2 and focus negative this this is really close look at that yeah this is actually really close now so on you can try different uh you know presets and everything and you can turn your photos into any any style you know these are the images that i generated using this and trying different styles and you know whatnot some there are some mistakes okay you can see uh, i also turned myself into like old man <laughs> and i tried extreme you know the strong uh, preset this one you know there is a neon something yeah this one Psy neon punk i used this preset to generate this image this ai is actually really good really good the best uh, ai image generator plus image editor out there because it's stupidly simple to use even though it uses the stable diffusion other stable diffusion uh, tools like automatic 1111 comfy ui are also great but only if you can master them like only if you can learn how to actually use them you know there are so many uh, settings sliders and everything that you need to like tweak all the time to get the results look good 
But no, that's not the case with the focus. We have presets and everything that we can just select and get our results. It's just mind blowing. And you can use any models that you use on Stable Diffusion. You can also do face swap, okay? Uh, you can also do in paint or out paint, like expand the images. You can change uh, the backgrounds and everything. I don't even have words. As I said earlier, this is the only AI tool I'm using to edit images plus generate images. This is really good, really good, because it's stupidly simple to use. <laughs> yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, and try to help out each other in the comments. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.